filming this intro for like the 20th time already. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I don't know. Gross. So for today's video, I decided to film kind of like a summer meets fall type of look. We're like in that awkward stage where like summer hasn't officially ended and fall hasn't officially started. So we're just kind of like in between. Siri, when does fall start? Fall begins the 22nd of September, 2018. But having said all that, today's video is going to be super chill. That's why I'm in my robe. Girl has her coffee with her. I just want to spill a little bit of tea because I'm like in a love-hate relationship with this look because this palette is just like kind of shitty like once you lay the colors down they're really good but then once you start blending them out they just kind of like change and they become really blotchy i don't know you guys let me know if you like this look i'm kind of like in between like i like it and i don't like it i did get some inspo so i will have the instagram link down below for that yeah abh I know I'm really late on the whole subculture thing, but it was my first time trying it out, okay? So you guys are gonna see like my raw impressions and reaction of this whole palette situation. But having said all that, if you want to learn how I did this summer meets fall awkward makeup look, then keep on watching and subscribe. Oh, I love coffee. All right, so I did this eye off camera, but I don't know if I like it. Like I kind of like it, but then I don't like it. So I'm gonna go in with the Subculture palette. So I'm gonna start off with this color right here, which is Axis. I'm gonna start off by packing it on the outer part of my eye. So I'm gonna begin by doing small circular motion. Probably the one thing that I did notice is as I'm blending it, it creates like this little weird splotch right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my god, actually, you know what? This eye has been a little bit more difficult to blend out. <gasps> Bitch. Oh my god, do not look at my freaking baby hairs, y'all. I know they're like everywhere right now, but we're gonna go in with this shade right here, which is All Star. It's kind of like a maroon plum purple. Plum is actually the perfect word to describe it. By the way, the brushes I'm using are from the Makeup Shack T14. These are super small and detailed brushes, which is what I love. Now this color, as you guys know, I like to tug my eye. I'm gonna place all in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna begin to do small circular motions. I'm gonna layer on some more of that purple. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? <gasps> do you guys see that? That is so weird. That looks way lighter than the color I was just using. What the hell? And then once I start buffing it out and turns into like this dark purple, that is so weird. That is so trippy. The color changes once you start buffing it out. I think why I find it so weird is that usually I add like a transition color, but this time I just straight up put on like a blue and a purple. But when you cut out the crease, that's what it helps, so. So I went in with this Colorbop palette. Um, it's called You Had Me At Hello. And I'm gonna use this like white shade. You can honestly just use any like white shimmer shade to put on the inner corner of the eye. Oh my God, that is so stunning. So now I'm gonna go in with Roxy, which is kind of like this peach color. Um, and I'm gonna add that right in the center. Fuck, this color is so good too. So I'm gonna blend this eye a little bit more and then I'm gonna add some lashes and then I'll be right back. <coughs> the fuck? I think we can all just admit that my videos would just never have good lighting, you know? Like probably when my studio is set up, but I have no idea when that's happening because the interior designers came weeks ago and they haven't started anything. So I don't even know when everything's gonna start. Like at this point, it's just like a waiting game, you know? So I'm just kind of like TikTok. By the way, still using the same primer, which is the Double Sisley Primer. Best primer out there. Just saying. Anyways, I'm using my Becca 24 hour and my Estee Lauder double wear and I'm mixing them too. Fuck, oh my God, that hurt. Let's give this brush another chance. Probably using it with liquid foundation. Oh, actually, oh bitch, that's actually really nice. Oh, wow. Look at what I have here. One of my flowers made it for me. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh shit, this looks horrible. Take that back. Let me try to buff this out with the beauty blender. 
see if it helps smooth things out you could just see a lot of the streaks now i'm going to go in with the Too faced born this way concealer hopefully this kind of saves it a little bit just because everything is looking a little bit splotchy So now moving on to my powder. I've been loving the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter. If you guys have not seen my previous video, this powder is pretty freaking bomb. I love it. Probably the only thing that I do not like about this powder, prou I was about to say product and powder, is that I do tend to crease really fast around my mouth area. I do smile all the time and my cheeks and my crease and just everything tends to crease there. But I usually don't start creasing until the very end of the day, but with this one, I notice that I crease really, really fast, and I do not like that. I always like to touch my face after I said it, I don't know why. All right, so now we're moving on to bronzer. I have been loving the Patrick Star bronzer. At first, I was super skeptical because I thought it was not gonna fit with my skin tone, but it looks really, really nice. I love that it blends out super super smoothly and it has a really warm undertone to it it's not too cool which i love that's always the number one thing that i look for in bronzers is that they don't look muddy or too cool tone to where it looks gray you get me i feel like this bronzer is just so universal for every skin tone because this looks gorgeous on patrick star and i am pretty fair because i'm not tan right now so this does still look pretty nice on me as well. Moving on to blush, I am going in with the Hot Mama blush from The Balm. This is just like a really pretty kind of pretty, oh my god. A really pretty like coral color and it has like a sheen to it. So it kind of looks like highlighter in a way. It just makes you really glowy. I feel like especially just for like the fall time, I still want to look really, really glowy. To set everything in place as of right now, I'm using the Hangover 3 in 1. So it's replenishing primer and a setting spray with coconut water. I love products with coconut. Oh! <laughs> I feel like the Yorona cry for my highlighter. This is such a tragedy because I love this highlighter. It's fine though. I kind of like that it broke a little because it's easier to pick up. Bitch, this highlighter is just bomb AF. Ofra literally does it every single time with their highlighters and I love the new packaging as well. So I'm gonna spray my face one more time. Oh, I actually need to blend out that bronzer over here. Oh my God, that looks so fucking bad. Oof. Gosh, imagine if I would've gone out like that. A tragedy. So now I'm gonna go in with my ABH Times Emrezy highlighter. I thought I was over like the whole like super glow trend, but I just feel like I can just not let it go. I just cannot let go of the highlighter. For the lips, I want to do something really, really like natural kind of, like super peachy kind of. I always say that, but then I always end up doing a nude lip. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line my lips really quickly. I just want you guys to quickly see something. So this is my natural lip without me overlining it. And I've recently just been doing it like this. I don't know if I like it because on this side, I have literally like hardly any filler left. But on this side, as you can tell, I still have some filler left. Oh, this one's perfect. Okay. So this one my boo Mitchell gave to me, MMM Mitchell on Instagram. It is the Jordana Tishia Lip Gloss. I think he just came out with his own, which I'm so proud of him for. But this is just like a really pretty nude. No, oh, they're so little. Look at my lips. All right, so this is it for the look. I was about to go change into like an outfit so it can be all aesthetically pleasing. But I'm like, you know what? This was like a very chill, cozy makeup tutorial. So I'm like, why am I going to do that? You know, I'm super comfortable right now. I hope you guys are ready for winter because I feel like I just thrive in the winter time and the fall time. Um, I just cannot wait to start wearing browns and plums and cranberries and warm tones and sip my hot cocoa, you know, because your girl loves her hot cocoa, okay? I'm just super excited overall. I really want to just like 
do like one of my fall haul videos um, where I go to Bath and Body Works, show you guys like the best scents, and you know, just go shopping and buy a lot of fall things and spooky things for Halloween. Um, do not forget that every year I go all out for my Halloween tutorials. I feel like this year I'm not, I am going to do some like difficult ones, but I'm also going to do costumes this year because most of the time I just do makeup, but I am going to focus on the costumes, like some full on costumes and then some costumes that like you can make at home with like regular clothes, you know? I don't know. I just have a lot of ideas, but thank you guys so much for watching. Before I let you guys go, hold the F up because Shelby, Tina, and I will be in San Francisco and LA September 29th and 30th for my tour. <laughs> for my tour. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. Everybody ends up loving it when they come to my show. I just hope you guys are able to make it. I know some of you guys are in school, but it is on the weekends. If you go by yourself, it's honestly fine. I have a lot of flowers that go by themselves and they enjoy it even more because they feel like it's more personal. Uh, yeah, and the really cool thing about it is that me, Shelby, and Tina are each doing a gift basket with a lot of makeup in it. And somebody in the crowd is going to win that big basket of makeup. It's gonna be probably like a thousand dollars worth. Who knows, we're all doing different baskets for each show. So in total, it's six baskets, so. Just saying. All right. So that is it for today's video. Do not forget to purchase your tour tickets down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.